Hey, so let's go ahead and set up a tier based deconstructor using good containers. A little context this is the black market. You get here by defeating a moss and you find all these NPCs selling stuff. One of them is deconstructing Dave, who will, in exchange for your emeralds, of which I have plenty already prepared here, will deconstruct your items with a 100% success rate. So let's put in this a big X here. It will tell us the price per unit, since he can de deconstruct in batch, for example, four at the same time, which, well, it will give us salt for common items, but if it's an epic, epic item, it will give epic essence. Rare essence, for example, six at the same time, or one at the same time. It just, that's what it costs. Now, here, it would not allow us to deconstruct uh, materials that don't have a tier, and if we try to click it, it will flash red, telling us we did something wrong. And let's just deconstruct a legendary one. There you go. And, well, it cannot be deconstructed anymore. You will see, it will have consumed a few of the emeralds. Here, there's only 11 stacks left. Well, it usually starts out with 22. And now I will show you in the mythic skill how this all happens after visiting the container layout. So let me call the command to see the slots um, with all their descriptions here. You can see the, the storage slot iron bars are labeled as payment, readable in the curly in the angle brackets, while these glass panes are named with named uh, labeled flash, they all are. The anvil is named price and it will run the DSC activate skill when clicked by a player. And finally, the nether star is labeled item and when people put items on top of it, it will run the DSC prices skill. And when people take items from it, it will run the DSC revert skill. So let's start uh, looking at the method skills. First one, the when people put items on it, DSC prices. So you go to DSC prices, which is here. It will evaluate the tier of the item placed in the slot labeled item, which is this one. If it's an uncommon item, it will set the score C term to 2. This tire M. <laughs> kind of hard to pronounce that anyway. And then it will run on common evolve, which will only proceed if the score equals 2. It will tell you deconstruct 16 emerald blocks per unit. And it will basically just renew, rename the item at the slot price, which is what this does. It just renames this into displaying the price. Then when people take items from here, it will do DSC revert which is pretty simple. Where is it at? Here. It just renames the price display to just deconstruct so that it stops displaying prices. Then let's see what this call the big one, DSC Activate, does. When people click that anvil, it runs this big skill DSC Activate, which it starts out by reading the amount of blocks in the payment section. You see, it reads every slot and every shulker box slot in there. Test inventory gives you the exact amount of emeralds. So if I go here, it's covered on the instance by sidebar. What's it, emeralds? You can see the total amount of emeralds contained in all these shulker boxes, emerald blocks. And if you take one out, it will well, it will decrease that amount by the number of emeralds that were there. Now, get tier, it just reads the tier of the item in there. Let's say if it's a common, it will set the value to 2. And then this skill will only proceed if the value equals 2. And then it reads the amount of items that we are about to deconstruct. Now, you must be wary that NBT commands 
have a factor of 10 when setting the score in here. That's, that's because some of them, like attack damage, should support a decimal number, but scoreboards are only integers. And for the sake of being uniform, amount, though it's guaranteed to be an integer, does have that factor of 10. And now, uncommon items cost 16 emerald blocks, so we will multiply by 1.6, because it's the, the value of this core, which is the actual amount of times 10, and then times 1.6 emerald blocks equals the, the price. This is basically the amount times 16. I hope I explained it correctly. Anyway, then it will calculate the total emeralds remaining after the operation, which is how many emeralds are in the price section, minus how many, how many emeralds we are charging, which is simple. Suppose we have one item here, it will set the score of the player to 10, then 1.6, that means 16 emeralds is the price, and let's say there is 10 emeralds in the price section, in the, in the payment section, minus 16 the price, it will be negative 6, and then in common payment, because the total is negative, it will fail because the player can't afford the operation. Supposing this is 20 emeralds minus 16, that means 4, so this will not happen, which will mean the, the skill will actually happen. What this does is just um, consumes the 16 emeralds from the observe container and shulker boxes within, which is basically these shulker boxes, and then it will set the item at item. On common essence plus zero, which means it transforms every single one. Like it basically just sets some common essence, keeping the amount they used to have. And it will run can't deconstruct. This just displays the change the display name of the item to cannot be deconstructed. Supposing it fails because the player does not afford it, um, it's all the way down here. It just flashes iron bars, red glass vein, and iron bars on those slots labeled as flash, which are the yellow glass veins. And that is how the deconstructor works. Cube containers and MMO items get tired for y'all. <laughs> Take care.